So Mike and I are going to pick up some live seafood. Crabs. Crabs, I was gonna get to it. The point is I have never dealt with a live crab myself. I've been at people's places that dunk their own live crabs and I just waited in a section for the crabs to be already cooked. I didn't want anything to do with killing them. Now Mike wants to like get our own bushel of crabs and basically dunk them. So I'm just feeling a little weird about it, but it's been a while since I had some good crabs, miles, so right I'm Road. feeling kind of kind of greedy right now. I want to eat them. I do. Okay. So Mike and I just got our goods from the supermarket. A little something to make our evening nice. And now we are going to get these crabs. Well, we're going to my house to pick up some stuff and then we have to get the crabs. Well, we're not going to show that part, but... Yes. We are going to share that part. We're going to show all the parts of our lives. All you know the we're parts. Gonna skip. You know I'm going to edit it out so that people won't get bored with all the little errands you're running. Yes. I'm scared. I don't know how I'm going to act when I see them crabs. And don't expect me to touch them while they're crawling. You're going to touch them. Don't expect me you to put to, them in the pot. You path. have to kiss the crabs your very first time you buy crabs. Mike, I don't know what you're talking about. If you don't kiss them, they don't taste right. You can kiss them. You have to kiss them. Both of us. You're making this up. Not. This is a rule. It's the rule. Every, Please every, let me know if that's even true. Everybody if, knows it. A lot of crabs in there. I didn't go through them and pick out any of the dead. I see one dead right there. Okay. Dead policy is 20. Anything over 20, you get replaced. Okay. If you have 21 dead, you get one crab back. There's always going to be a few dead. You know, I don't think you're going to get that many. Michael's carrying a heavy bag of crabs. Michael's really hyped right now. Mm -hmm. I know, how did we get out of this place? Oh shit. The only way out is fucking one way. Uh, the highway, bad. No, not, not the way we want to be going. Yeah. Maybe we can make I that turn yeah, and I go know. back around. That sounds good. So. So we got the crabs in the back and we're just trying to get home to get these things cooked. Okay. I'm here for moral support. It was a complete disaster. It was not a complete disaster. This is basically um, the next day, but we wanted to discuss more of how the experience was with the crabs because it was just so much work. We're always going to buy them cooked from now on. There was no way we could film it because we had so much cleaning to do. Michael got like, a headache. How convenient, right? He got a headache. My head was pounding. So I cleaned up. Since he did a lot of the work with the crabs, I thought I could clean up. I vacuumed. I 
washed the dishes, I put away the crabs. I'm just gonna sit my throat. I bagged everything, you know, needed like, um, what did I use? I used contractor bags, little thick ones. I couldn't get it all in a can, so I used bleach on top of the bags to take away the crab smell. She kept pushing was, down the bags and crab, crabs pinched too. You can't pinch on The clothes kept coming out and scratching my leg and <coughs> yeah, I was like, sharp. I was so tortured by it, so tortured. <coughs> <coughs> The moment I finished, Michael was like, oh, you want to go get some ice cream? And we did. The moment I finished, like, we just came downstairs on cue. Oh, well, not done. thought that was funny. But so, Michael's eating some of the leftovers. He says he's enjoying it a little bit today. I guess since it's not that bad of a cleanup. I don't know. Well, I cleaned a lot of them. There's so much crabs left over. We still, I think we're going to be making some crab cakes. I'm going to freeze some. It's just a lot of cleaning to do. I think it's some help with that. Mm -hmm. That way I can bag them. Who? So you better ask neighbor. That's his inside joke. Don't worry about that. But thank you for watching.